to make it worse, this man daughter writing a letter to somebody she never met before. I couldn't, I couldn't even look at my kids the same. I'm on double trail. She and she was never born more. when he was alive. So that he means it all came from her programming. That is so wild. You know, <laughs> you know is. how that is so you know how hard your woman has to be disrespecting you for your child to think about another man and write that letter out and then let it get exposed to the world. The disrespect is at an all time. Hi, it's no wait, that should have happened. Period. Ever, never, ever, ever should that have happened. I'm I'm just sitting there shaking my head, like, damn, he done fucked up. Damn, he done let this go. Damn, he keep letting this go. Mr. Lego 100 percent right. That's all on him. Men are supposed to be masters of their own fate. Control is their own destiny. Thank you. How are you gonna let somebody else interrupt that process? And then how you out here looking goofier than that thing? Mm -mm. Nah, that's all on him. One hundred percent on him. I take manhood seriously, y'all, and I take responsibility for all of my goddamn actions, whether right or wrong. I will never blame a goddamn woman for anything that goes on in my life. Do you right. see what's happening? Know how everybody is holding Will Smith responsible. For but everything that you referred to, including you, Marcus, you, what you referred to was an action that Jada Pickett Smith did. How can you say that it's his fault uh, when all the actions that we're all referring to are things that Jada Pickett Smith did? That's outrageous. How how, how is that? How how can you do that? Because if you want like, a vampire in your house and he eats everybody in the house, you let the damn vampire in the house. Do you blame the vampire or do you blame you letting the vampire in the house eating up all you people in the house? It's like getting locked up on a drug case. Oh, go ahead, no Perry. one just out there and did all that stuff and then being mad at the system after you get caught, bro. Those are the consequences of your actions. You just got to live with it at this point. Last week, ahead, we had Perry. a... Do you blame the crack? Con <laughs> just, go ahead. I'm sorry. Last go ahead, Perry. Week, we had a long conversation where the men said, if you continuously allow a woman to disrespect you and you don't have no control over that situation, you are the problem. And this is where I have the conflict in this particular situation. I can absolutely hold Jada accountable for letting people infiltrate her marriage by releasing secrets that should be between her and her husband. That by making making herself and her marriage vulnerable to the court of public opinion, I can hold her accountable for that. But some of the things that has been occurring have been occurring right on the wheel nose, and it's so egregious to the point where it's like him not saying anything sets him up to make it look as if he has no control over his children or his household regardless it makes it look as if he will he is willing to take whatever abuse just to have this woman if anybody actually knows the story her and tupac were never together when tupac was killed he had a fiance that was with him the night he was killed not jay everything else is extravagant Okay, everything else is a thick layer that she's adding the extra coating on. She said this man was a soulmate, but they had no chemistry. Those two things don't even go together. I cannot be your soulmate if we have no romantic chemistry. It don't even go together. So either one or two things are happening. Either she delusional and she feel like she missed the love that she was supposed to have, or him and her had some form of sexual intercourse, and she just refused to go ahead and tell it. It, it has to be one of those two things. There is no way you can attach she, this type of you, you, huh? I think it's both. I mean, she's already kind of portrayed herself as being delusional or not all it, the way. It, 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 it has to be something. But the fact that Tupac is not alive, it's like she dances and she skates around, and she is the person who's telling the narrative. Every woman that ever has a picture with Tupac, it all looks the same way. Every woman that ever was involved with Tupac, it all looks the same way. He was a ladies' man, and he was just a cool guy. Like, he just knew how to make women feel comfortable. And yeah. even when it came down to him and him and Will, he knew Will had a problem with him. You ain't never heard Tupac disrespect Will, but you've heard him disrespect several other men in the industry. He had no problem with it. I do not think she meant to him what she wanted to mean to him and i feel like she missed the love that she thought she should have had and it shows there's no way uh -huh. right. there's no way willow who was she was born might maybe five six years after this man passed should have written a letter that entailed saying i wish you were here to make me and my mommy happy uh -huh. and it 
it makes no sense. But that sounds like, like a fairy tale that Jada could have put in her kids' head. Um, it, she probably it, told I mean, them. The reality <laughs> is, the only way her children can know of this man is by her own admit. Will exactly. was in, in, Will has said it. He was not around. He was working. Jada stayed at home. Jada ain't had no real gig since the actual early 2000s, but her most recent thing was in 2007 when she did Girls Troop. That was the last thing Jada has done. Like, let's be honest, past the 2000s, Jada was known for her previous work she did in the 90s. She is not the actress today. We know her for Red Table Talk doing interviews because she used to be a, a 90s sex symbol. That's it. Don't forget Hawthorne. She was on Hawthorne. Hawth Hawthorne. Hawthorne. Yeah. But mm -hmm. overall, the credibility of it now is her being attached to Will. And at this point, I'm happy that it came out because I feel like she has been trying to tell us. And I feel like we hear what we want to hear with this couple. Will said back in the 2018 when it, everything came out with August Alcina, he said then, we were not together. We were separated. You guys heard she cheated on him. He had other women, him and Margie Robert. We're on a whole nother thing together. Will still has other women. Just because you don't see it, don't mean it's not happening. And because you would not allocate that level of disrespect with your wife does not mean you are him. We we not playing the same game that they are playing. The woman did not cheat on that man. He allowed her to go fuck off. That's what it was. You I mean, I believe that, like but... it. You don't have to like it, but that's what happened. That man let her move out the house. That man had his ex-wife in the house with him and Jada. He was taking care of him and his ex-wife. They were on trips together. That man was having his way. And when he got tired of having his way, and she got tired of having his way, she went on her way. And I just don't like how she put everybody in her business. Yeah. But we got some accountability in this situation. And no, just for the record, Will Smith allowed, keyword allowed, for this woman to have red table talk in their living he did he allowed it so you can't turn around and say i, I can't believe uh this woman says all this stuff uh, on red table talk the man is in the bedroom when she's divulging all this bullshit. it came from will it will 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 she didn't go off somewhere make a red table talk it was in her living room he actually I believe Jada family. wanted to hurt Will, though. I he believe. left his family for three months and traveled overseas by himself. Like, he did. So it's like, I understand, but Jada, to me, sounds like a woman who is lonely. She sounds like she missed her real companion, and her husband know this, and he won't listen to her nag about it no more, so she go tell everybody else. The woman sounds lonely, she sounds hurt, and she sounds like she missed she out. She never wanted to be there. She, she should have stayed on the farm. She never wanted to be there, and he forced yeah. it. He forced this marriage. He did. But lady, he should have stayed with his ex-wife. But Precious, I want you to think about it. Just, just all y'all. Men in black, Will Smith. Not just Will Smith. Men in black, Will Smith, right? Uh, the end of the world, It like... Every 4th of July, here comes Will Smith saving the world, right? You don't want to be with Will Smith. Will Smith is a cornball. But this man comes and says, I got to have you, precious. You going. And you're just going to hate your life. And you're going to hate your life every day. But you're still going. Because who in the world is going to turn Mr. Uh, uh, 4th of July action movie star every year down? Like your whole family look at you like you crazy. So I understand female nature. Women go do stuff that they don't necessarily want to do for certain lifestyles or they'll compare, compare this lifestyle with that lifestyle. They're going to go. And sometimes they don't want to, but they have to for whatever reason. 